to Everyday Science with AstroCam. I'm Charlotte, and today we're going to be learning about the chemistry of baking cookies. Why does square cookie dough turn out round? What makes some cookies chewy and others cakey or crispy? The answer, of course, is science. I just whipped up a batch of my favorite cookie dough, chocolate chip. Let's see what happens to the cookies in the oven. Let's talk about the science behind this time lapse. When the dough reaches 92 degrees Fahrenheit, the butter inside melts, causing the dough to spread out. Butter is an emulsion of water, fat, and dairy solids. As the butter melts, the water trapped inside is released and turns into steam, pushing against the dough walls trying to escape. This is how your square dough becomes round. At 144 degrees, changes occur in the proteins, which primarily comes from the eggs in the dough. Fresh egg proteins look like coiled up balls of string. When exposed to heat, the protein strings unfold and get tangled up with their neighbors. The protein network of an egg is the backbone of the cookie, giving it strength and keeping it from deflating in the oven. It stops your cookie from spreading forever and determines the cookie's diameter. At 212 degrees, the cookies begin to stiffen. The water that was bubbling inside evaporates, leaving behind airy pockets that make the cookies light and flaky. Helping this along is the leavening agent sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda. The baking soda reacts with the acids in the dough, creating carbon dioxide gas, thus generating more airy pockets in your cookies. At 310 degrees, one of science's tastiest reactions occurs, the Maillard reactions. Proteins and sugars break down and rearrange themselves to form ring-like structures, which reflect light to give our cookies their rich brown color. As this reaction occurs, it produces a wide range of flavor and aroma compounds. If you dare set your oven above 356 degrees, then caramelization will be your cookie's last reaction. Sugar molecules break down under high heat, forming the sweet, nutty, and slightly bitter flavor compounds that define, well, caramel. When you smell the nutty, toasty aromas of the Maillard reactions and caramelization, your cookies are ready. No need for that pesky timer. You can take these basic concepts and use them to engineer your perfect cookie. For chewier cookies, use melted butter in your dough. It will spread out faster. The butter's temperature affects the cookie's texture. The melted butter will create smaller air pockets as the water converts into steam. For fluffier, cakier cookies, use cold butter in the dough. You will get larger pockets of air or try using double-acting baking powder instead of baking soda. Baking powder is a complete leavening agent, including baking soda, the base, and cream of tartar, the acid, thereby producing carbon dioxide gas both when it's mixed in the dough and later when it heats up. Finally, you can pump up the cookie's flavor with dark sugars. White granulated sugar doesn't participate well in the Maillard reactions because it mostly contains sucrose. Darker sugars like molasses, honey, and brown sugar are packed with glucose and fructose, which happily becomes the rich, complex taste of the Maillard reactions. The question we need to answer now is why are round pizzas put in square boxes? Be sure to check out our other AstroCamp videos on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.